with the heart and Vicky Pacquiao. And this crowd clearly is showing him a lot of love. How do you know a fighter is relaxed coming into a weigh-in when he takes a selfie of himself, right? Here he is, the pac Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, boxing's undisputed number one attraction, ready to take on the challenge of his career. He is a future Hall of Famer, a record of 47 wins and no losses. The renowned pound for pound grade and pay per view king, the 11 time world champion in five weight divisions. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the celebrated boxing superstar introducing the one, the only, Floyd Money. Mayweather fighting in his hometown and in what has to be called his home arena, even though Pacquiao has also fought here many times, Al, but Mayweather's level of comfort amid these circumstances probably unsurpassed at this point. Uh, probably unsurpassed in box. And the fact that, as you pointed out earlier, Jim, he almost controls his own destiny as it relates to every detail about these kind of events. And we're kind of seeing his comfort level here. Both fighters have hosted processions of movie and entertainment stars in their gyms during the weeks of build-up to the fight and their training might be a distraction to some fighters, but these are such experienced public figures that it's really an everyday affair for them. I agree, and there is very little that can distract them, even though they have very different personalities and approaches to life and the sport. The thing they share in common is they are both unflappable. And both congenital gym rats who tend to be in shape whether they are fighting or not. Yeah, it's a very good point. They believe in preparation, and as you point out, the gym is their home. Yeah, what up, boxing fans? I would like to welcome you guys to the boxing documentary of Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. 
And I want to lead you guys on a journey just to show you how both guys became mega superstars. First off, Manny Pacquiao. He defeated guys like Eric Morales, Barrera, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, and Miguel Cotto. Man, he had such fascinating speed, power. He captivated a whole country in the Philippines with his other fans. No one had ever seen hand speed like Manny Pacquiao possessed and power. And never seen an Asian Filipino with that kind of hand speed since Bruce Lee. He captivated me as a boxing fan with that type of hand speed and flashiness. So he captivated a whole country. Then you have Floyd Mayweather who defeated Diego Corrales, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, Shane Mosley, Miguel Cotto, just to name a few. Became a huge superstar. Got a huge fan base. The African American fan base took Floyd Mayweather in. It was captivated by his flashiness, flamboyantness, his money, his cars, his boxing style, his defensive style. He captivated a whole fan base. And both of those fan bases collided. Both guys were one and two, the best fighter in the world for five and six years simultaneously. So they were on the path to meet. We knew that both guys were going to collide sooner or later. And I remember sitting back as, as an American fan. I was wondering because you had white America, you had uh, the Filipino and the Asian uh, fans all rooting for Manny Pacquiao. Then you had the black African-American fans all rooting for, for uh, Floyd Mayweather. And I'm sitting back as an American fan. I'm wondering, is this going to turn violent? That's how serious both of those fan bases were, guys, at that time. I thought it was going to get violent. So the first opportunity for this fight to get made was in 2009. It doesn't happen, guys. For you, for you guys that don't know why it does, didn't happen, the fight didn't happen in 2009 because of drug drug testing. There was a drug testing issue with uh, Floyd Mayweather. And I'm going to let you guys hear about that. He accused Manny Pacquiao of steroids. He thought Manny Pacquiao was using steroids. I'm going to let you guys hear what he had to say. For you and Pacquiao today. I mean, we've been talking about this for the longest. I mean, uh, like I said before, we know Sugar Ray Leonard. We knew him. He was great. From his 11 days, we knew he was going to be a great professional. Uh, Michael Jordan, we knew from college he was going to be a great professional. Floyd Mayweather, from the beginning of his career, from the 90s, we knew he was going to be a great professional. Just look at all these different athletes. Kobe Bryant from high school, he was going to be a great athlete. Now, you ask yourself, a fighter just don't get 25, all of a sudden just become great. A fighter just don't become 25, 25 years old, just pop out of nowhere. You know what? I'm knocking junior middleweights out. I'm knocking middleweights out. That just don't happen. That just don't happen. I mean, just like this. If you have nothing to hide, you don't have nothing to hide, I just want to go to even playing field. That's it, even playing field. If you don't have nothing to hide, take the test. Okay, there's Floyd Mayweather's standpoint. He believed Pacquiao was on steroids. Encountering uh, Manny Pacquiao files a lawsuit against Floyd Mayweather. ESPN.com senior boxing writer Dan Rayfield and Dan. What is Pacquiao hoping to accomplish with this lawsuit? Well, I know that the negotiations for this fight have been ongoing, but I just got off the telephone with uh, Daniel Petroselli, who is the attorney for Manny Pacquiao, literally moments before coming on the air, and I asked him that exact question. And his point was, regardless of whether or not they're negotiating this fight, that uh, you know that the, that the comments that they alleged that the Mayweather people had made were irresponsible and reckless and malicious, and they had to answer it no matter what and so they felt like they had no so this is the reason why the fight didn't happen the first time in 2009 Manny Pacquiao fans believe this was a duck tactic by Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather fans believe that Manny Pacquiao was using steroids which is why he didn't want to take the test um, I'm not gonna give opinion in this video I'm just doing a documentary so I won't give much opinion but I'm just giving you guys the facts second reason the fight didn't happen they tried negotiations again in 2012. It was due to per split. Manny Pacquiao wanted a 50-50. Floyd Mayweather offered Manny Pacquiao 40 million, and he wanted to keep the rest of the pay-per-view revenue. And I got I let you guys hear about that. Mayweather wants to give him what they want. He 
wants to fight Manny Pacquiao. He told our Stan Morant in an email that he called Pacquiao to plant the seed, but he added that when Pacquiao asked about a 50-50 split, he said, nope, can't happen. Here is what he emailed our Stan Barrett Mayweather. He said, quote, I called him and asked him about us fighting big bits and giving the world what they want to see. I also let him know we both can make a lot of money. He asked about a 50-50 split. I told him, no, that can't happen. But what can happen is you can make more money fighting me than you have made in your career. I also let him know I'm in control on my side. So that's the reason the fight didn't happen in 2012. Floyd Mayweather fans believe that Mayweather deserved the higher split. And they believe that it was fair that he didn't do 50-50. Manny Pacquiao fans believe that the $40 million offer from Floyd Mayweather was him um, duck in the fight they believe that Manny Pacquiao deserved the higher percentage of the split as as though the fight did not happen in 2012 because of that we move on Manny Pacquiao suffers a brutal robbery against Tim Bradley and later suffers a devastating upset knockout loss to Juan Manuel Marquez So at that point, I'm like thinking to myself, fuck, this fight is never going to happen. Manny Pacquiao suffers a d devastating upset loss to Marquez, and I'm thinking it's never going to happen. But being the great fighter that he is, Manny Pacquiao bounces back. He defeats Brandon Rios, and he defeats Tim Bradley to win back his WBO Walterweight Championship of the World. Floyd Mayweather meets Manny Pacquiao at a Miami Heat basketball game. Both guys talk. They later, they later meet back at Floyd Mayweather's hotel to hash out a deal to make the fight. To my surprise, to everyone's surprise, the fight gets made. It's the biggest event ever. You got stars like Beyonce, Jay-Z, Denzel Washington, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Every star you can think of is at the fight. It's one of the biggest grossing fights of all time. So 4.6 mil 4 million pay-per-view buys. The biggest grossing money fight. Mayweather makes 300 million, Pacquiao 180 million, the biggest fight ever, the biggest sporting event ever, the two biggest superstar athletes ever. We go into round one, I give round one to Manny Pacquiao, I mean, I give round one to Mayweather, I give round two to Mayweather, I remember giving round three to Pacquiao, thought he did good work, um, I gave round four to Pacquiao, he landed a good straight right, pushed Mayweather back, I gave round five to uh, Mayweather. He landed some good shots, had great defense, made Pacquiao miss a lot. I gave, I think I gave round six to, uh, to, to uh, Pacquiao. I gave round seven to Mayweather. I gave eight to Mayweather. Uh, I remember giving nine. Who did I give nine to? I believe I gave nine to Pacquiao, ten to Pacquiao, eleven to Mayweather, and twelve to Pacquiao. Actually, I remember scoring that fight a draw. Um, a lot of fans, the majority of the fans, believe Floyd Mayweather won the fight. You had maybe 10 to 20 percent that believe Pacquiao won the fight. I know Evander Holyfield thought Pacquiao won the fight. You had guys like Max Kellerman, Roy Jones, who believe uh, Mayweather won the fight. Mayweather won the fight by unanimous decision, and he was crowned fighter fighter of the decade by winning that fight over Manny Pacquiao. Well, he might have not been fighter of the decade, but fighter of of that of all, yeah, he was named fighter of the generation. Between Manny Pacquiao and himself. Because he won the fight by unanimous decision. Uh, most fans were upset by the, by the fight. Myself, I enjoyed the fight. They wanted to see more action from both fighters. Um, I thought Manny Pacquiao could have did more. He did not throw the voluminous punches that he usually throw. I thought Floyd could have did more. He maybe could have stopped Manny Pacquiao in the 11th round if he had pressed the action. But neither guy did much. They didn't throw much. And a lot of fans were upset. They were also upset after the fight. Manny Pacquiao, it was speculation that he suffered a torn rota rotator cuff. There was also speculation that Floyd Mayweather used an illegal IV and got a TUE three weeks after the fight, leaving fans pretty upset after the fight. But I, I thank both guys for giving us the fight of the century and giving the fans the fight that we've been clamoring for for six years. They gave us the fight. 